They called her Little Susie, the youngest of three girls in a modest Cincinnati family. She never knew what to do with her long legs until she followed her sisters into a dance class. Five days a week, she studied ballet at the local conservatory. A scout from New York City Ballet came to town, offering scholarships. She didn't choose her, but said, if you're ever in New York, please drop by. She and her mother packed all their belongings into the family Chevy and drove off to the city of a thousand aspiring dreamers and impossible lives. Susie held one thought only, to make herself good enough for the New York City Ballet. At 15, she was accepted as a student. At 16, she was a member of the Corps. But to win the attention of the great George Balanchine was another matter. She kept up with him. He made things harder. She inhaled and kept going. Inspired, he created new dances that announced her to the world. She followed his lead and danced without fear. Balanchine's company was the center of American ballet, and she was the diamond in its crown. She danced every night, sometimes twice, and starred in 28 ballets. Her range, her long-limbed, elegant wildness. Ballet looked different now. Even young muses grow up and need to stand apart from their mentors. She left New York and danced with a company in Brussels. For six years, she captivated the capitals of Europe. But one night, she saw a performance by the New York City Ballet and wrote a letter to Mr. Balanchine. Come home, he said. She had danced for 28 years. On her last night, the theater overflowed with cheers and flowers. It was an ending, but also a beginning. I love teaching. To teach is another way of dancing. She has her own company now, teaching them not just the famous steps, but the courage to own them. When the curtain opens, you get the nicest breeze on your skirt, and it's like, you know, a cloud. It's, it's, it's a great heavenly kind of feeling. That you... Oh, body swayed to music, oh, brightening glance. How can we know the dancer from the dance?
Today, the Suzanne Farrell Ballet, made up of dancers whom she teaches, has developed a national reputation and is giving new life to the legacy of George Balanchine. Here to perform the Divertimento No. 15 with music by Mozart are Suzanne's dedicated company of dancers.